DC Infinite app just came out. Is it any better than DC Universe app? Or is it worth the price? We don't get any movies, but we do get more comics. Hit the like button while the intro plays, and we'll talk about it. So in this video, we're going to look at all of the changes. We're going to break down, is it still worth it to subscribe? And we're going to do a full review of the app. Uh, I have been a huge fan of the DC Universe app. I started back uh, about a year and a half ago. And DC Universe has only been available since 2018. So it is a fairly new concept. Um, and obviously it competes with Marvel uh, Unlimited, which is a very robust comic book app uh, specific to Marvel Comics. And... DC put out the DC Universe app. But what was great about that is we got all of the animated movies, the cartoons, even some of the live action movies and TV shows. I was all in. I mean, you could not tell me there wasn't a better deal than the DC Universe app with the li library and the backstories you get. Well, then HBO Max hits. All of the original content that was on DC Universe, like Harley Quinn, all the animated shows like Batman Beyond, uh, Batman Animated, Animated Adventures, all of those went to HBO Max. So what's left for DC Universe? Well, they went through a complete rebrand. They went to DC Universe Infinite. But it's missing what made DC Universe so great in my opinion. But it did add more comics. So things like DC Black Label, you're getting a lot of di you know digital first comics. Which, whether or not you like that, it is an option there, but it's the same price, $7.99 or $74.99 a year. So is that actually worth it? $7.99 a month for comics, now a huge backlog. Uh, not a bad deal, not a bad deal at all, but you compare it to what it was with the movies and the shows, that's, that's pretty significant for me as somebody who truly loved that option. Okay. Now, thankfully, I do have an HBO Max subscription through my AT&T cell phone plan, so that doesn't hit me hard. But what about everybody else that has to go out and pay $14.99 to get that same content that they originally paid $7.99 for? And that was the big draw to the app. So that really is going to be an ultimate uh, choice for you as an individual. Is it worth it to you? Um, is that difference a big enough deal? But let's let's talk about some of the changes um, and what... Uh, you know, outside of the movies and cartoon shows and television shows, what are some of the changes? So they are putting a lot more comics, okay? Um, all the new comics are going to hit the app six months afterwards. So if that's something you're into. That's certainly something to do. Obviously, you won't be up to date, but six months isn't that bad of a wait. Uh, they're doing a ton of digital first comics that started basically when Diamond shut down. And their big draw to this is they are committed to expanding their back catalog to Vertigo, Black Label, and Milestone Comic imprints. So that is pretty neat. I mean, not going to lie, I do enjoy that that's going to be on there. But again, we lost a big piece of it. And a, another draw, you know, everybody's been talking about DC wanting to go, you know, pretty heavily digital. You know, they're pushing that pretty hard with this app. I mean, a ton of exclusive new original titles that are not going to hit print. That's interesting. So we'll jump into the review of the app and kind of see what that looks like. So one of the biggest things, uh, if you have not already, go in, update the app. Uh, if it hasn't already, you get to pick your own um, logo here. So you get to personalize your home screen, and I chose the Batman. Now, the UI looks very similar to what we saw before. It kept all of the comics I was reading previously, all of the suggested stuff at the top. Um, one thing I am noticing here is Mr. Miracle. They're pushing that pretty hard up top. Uh, titles like Joker. And then we immediately get down into the latest releases. So, you know, Dark Knight's Death Metal, Superman Year One, which is awful. Um, Strange Adventures, Mr. Miracle, all that stuff, right? So we're immediately, you know, being sold these are all the new titles the best titles that you now have access to then they do the trending because everybody has to have a trending section and obviously an explorer some suggested most reads and then we hit the digital first series 
um, part of the, the app here where you get things like Batman Adventures Continue, uh, some of the deep dives, and right up front, DC Black Label. I think which is probably some of the biggest pull for people to this app. So you get things like Last God, Question, Batman Damned, uh, Harleen, Superman Year One. So a lot of really, uh, really awesome comics, really awesome titles. Uh, and one thing here, I love the staff picks, things like New Gods, when that pops up, that's awesome. Mr. Miracles all over this app. I'm telling you guys, one of the best stories around. And then, of course, they're putting the new and popular section. Uh, and there was actually a couple of those, a couple of new and popular things. So maybe they just need to figure out some different titles. But here's some all comic series. So you can go through all of that, um, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, honestly, the UI has not changed much, um, very little. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, right? It's a basic digital comic app. There's not much that separates this from Marvel Universe or from Comixology. Um, so I don't know. I mean, seven ninety nine. Not. I mean, let's face it. You're getting hundreds of thousands. You're getting thousands of comic books for seven ninety nine a month. That deal, I'm good with all day long. If you can swallow losing the the TV shows and the movies, I think this is definitely worth getting. Um, or if there's a specific series you want to read. Get it for a month, cancel it after a month after you've read the series. Uh, that's still going to be cheaper than tracking down the back issues or, you know, with things like where the number ones are thousands of dollars, but you still want to read the story. This is a great option uh, if digital comics are something that you're into. So let me know what you think. Is the DC new DC Universe Infinite app something you think you're going to um, jump into? Is it something if you had the old DC Universe app, is it something you're going to continue with? Uh, I'll tell you for me, I'm going to continue it. For $7.99 a month, uh, it is easily worth the price. Uh, if you look at, you know, a general price of uh, the cover price of just one single comic. So the value is certainly there. Uh, the UI isn't perfect, but it is what it is. And you, again, getting some of the best stories for $8 a month. As always, guys, thanks so much for being the best part of Tuberless Comics. Collect your way.